Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is such an exciting video I have to share with you today. So that about all my videos, but today is especially exciting. As you all know, I am doing a five-day fast this week. And you may be thinking, what on earth possessed you to do a five-day fast voluntarily? I know there's actually so many benefits to fasting and I've been recently researching into fasting a lot more <laughs> <Don't mind that. laughs> a lot of the videos I watch are by Jason Fung I think it's Jason Fung he wrote the book on the beginner's guide to fasting which I'll link in the description below for you guys if you want to read it it's so interesting and basically fasting one of the biggest benefits it has is obviously weight loss because one thing nothing's going in so your body starts to use the fat stores on your body and start to eat that for energy which is great that's what your body has it for there for one of the biggest things that Jason Fung talks about is how it helps with insulin in the blood so it helps with two people with type 2 diabetes or who are obese it can help with reducing the amount of insulin in the blood because you're not eating anything so therefore there's no excess sugar insulin in the blood which then reduces inflammation as well which is super beneficial he says for people who are lean he recommends you only need to do the 12 hour fasting so you eat three meals a day is regular so from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. you have that 12 hour fast which the term breakfast comes from because you're breaking the fast and or you could do intermittent fasting which is that 16 hours of fasting in that 8 hour eating window so you can do that as well that's for people who are lean he says for people who maybe are more obese or overweight you can think about doing a bit longer people go up to 36 hours 5 days even 20 to 30 days so up to a month which is crazy however I would recommend as a disclaimer talking to a medical professional or your doctor so I'm not, no medical professional myself. This is just research that I've read into and have found. By no means am I recommending everyone go fasting for five days or anything like that. I'm just showing you guys my experience of doing it and how that goes for me. But definitely if you're looking to fasting or changing up your diet or lifestyle at all, definitely talk to a medical professional beforehand to make sure that you do it right and do it in a good way. Yes, but that's basically my disclaimer done. <laughs> so Jason Fong really does a 24-hour fast. Say so you just miss breakfast, you miss lunch and just have dinner. That means you would have had the 24, 24 hours of fasting. That's his way of doing it. He does that about three times a week. Now, I was more curious into the five-day fast because I actually heard that after four days of fasting, it can actually help to reset your immune system. I thought that is really cool. So I wanted to try that out just to give my body a bit of a reset. But the thing is, some people do talk about how you can lose muscle during fasting. Naturally, as your body switches over from glucose as its main source of energy, it starts to take some of the muscle tissues from the body as energy but after 36 hours that process then switches over to fat so if you've done the ketogenic diet in the past your body may switch over a little bit faster because it's naturally used to using fat in the body as its source but if you don't do keto and you're just doing fasting it may take that a little bit longer so you can see maybe a reduction in muscle but that will come back again once you start eating so that's fine also people have noticed that they may drop a heap of weight but then half of it may come back again that's because that other half is water weight so that will naturally come back I'm more curious about the I guess the other benefits rather than just weight loss because I'm quite lucky I'm quite lean already so weight loss isn't a big thing for me mine's more like the whole body reset sort of thing I've also heard that because you fast it gives your body time to go around and clean itself a little bit better because it doesn't have anything digesting in its system which takes up a lot of energy so it can use that energy to go around and sort of clean up the body so my fasting is basically to help improve my health so it's like to optimize my health in a way rather than sort of weight loss and things like that one of the things I really loved about the idea of fasting again is, again is coming back to the whole insulin in the blood so insulin is produced by the pancreas in the body and it helps with regulating your blood sugar levels so when you eat something that's really sugary or carby and that in turn produces glucose which is sugar and that is needed as energy by the body insulin is produced to take that sugar to cells in the body and to basically deposit them for the cells to use as energy now because our western diet is so rich in sugar and carbs which then turn into glucose which is sugar it's more common nowadays that people are actually developing an insulin desensitivity and insulin resistance which is not great because that can in turn lead to type 2 diabetes and other health problems basically because we're getting so much sugar in the body the depository sites on the cells are becoming less sensitive to insulin and sugar because they basically explained it in a way that say you've seen an old friend for the first time in 
gears. You open the door with open arms, welcome them in. That's what sugar is to the cells at first. But think of it over time that if your friend is coming to your door, knocking on the door several times a day, you start to get less welcoming and like more like, mm, no thank you, <laughs> stay out there. And that's what's happening to our cells. They're becoming less, I guess, welcoming of the sugar so they're leaving more of it in the blood which then circulates around and causes inflammation and inflammation is a big underlying cause of many chronic illnesses that we see today so the benefit of not having so much insulin in the blood means that you have less inflammation overall and in turn your body can start to heal and get back into its homeostasis in balanced state. Now, people may be thinking, why on earth would you fast? Like you end up starving yourself. That is a good point to bring up, but apparently the body can last up to one month without food, which is amazing. And I think up to one week without water, but I'll be drinking plenty of water and plenty of tea on this fast. But basically the body is naturally designed to use fat stores. That's why it's there. It's not there for looks. The fat isn't just deposited there for no reason. Although we may think sometimes like, why does it have to be there? But it's there for a reason. The body uses that in case it goes through a fasting period, a famine. So the body is naturally geared to know what to do when you don't eat. So the, the fat is then used by the body as fuel, as energy. And this is really good because it can help again with weight loss. It can help in reducing insulin because it's now using fat not glucose sugar as fuel which is great and it can help because a lot of our fat tissues actually store toxins that's where it can be stored in the body so using that fat can actually cause a bit of a detox in the body as well that's why drinking plenty of water is important as well so there's many benefits to fasting i believe in my opinion anyway i know people will be thinking this is actually crazy to voluntarily not eat i think it's pretty cool actually a pretty good challenge I'm actually hoping to do this once every month but you can do it in so many different ways like intermittent fasting 24 hour fasting 36 hour fasting so many different ways of doing it so really if you are interested do definitely look into it it's a really interesting sort of area of health that you guys can delve into a lot more I thought I'd just try it out and see how it goes for me now I have heard that after the third day you're supposed to not feel really hungry anymore if food is sort of like meh. but my auntie and my sister have actually done a five day fast before and they said that did not happen. They were hungry the whole way, whole way through. So I'm like, mm, fingers crossed that hopefully by the third day I'm not feeling super like starved and just wanting food. But we'll see, we'll find out. So I'm actually going to be doing a before and after of my fasting. So I actually did another little weigh in on my scales. Now the body fat percentage scales, not just your regular scales because I wanted to see how much body fat was used up during that time while I'm fasting. I imagine there will be a bit of a loss in muscle as well. So I'm quite aware of that as well, but I'm sure it'll come back again once I start eating normally and exercising. Now, if I do feel a bit faint or lightheaded, which can, may happen, I'm not sure. This is the first time I'm trying this. I will tone back on the amount of exercise I'm doing and you know, make sure that I'm still keeping my body in tip top shape, not overdoing it. So I'm just gonna see how each day goes and see how I adjust my routine to that. But for now, I'll share with you guys the results. So I am 65.1 kilos in weight overall and my body fat is 30.8%. So that's, I'm very happy with that. So that is the results to begin with. So we'll see what they are at the end and hopefully there will be a drop in body fat, which would be great. So I thought I'd share with you how I'm feeling this morning, seeing as this kick started. At the moment, I'm feeling fine. I don't usually eat till 11 30 12 anyway because i usually do intermittent fasting as my regular thing so at the moment it's 10 46 so i don't think i'll feel hungry anyway till about one or two and then that's when it'll start to become a challenge but for now i'm like oh just like breezing through the morning like i feel great like this fasting thing is so easy but we'll just we'll just wait um yeah i feel fine at the moment feeling quite good not hungry at all I did actually stock up a bit last night. I was like, I'll just eat a lot so that this morning I won't be hungry at all. And it's worked really well. But we'll see how that goes as the day goes on. I'll let you guys know how I feel tonight at the end. As my main sort of fuel for the week, I will be having lots of water and some herbal tea. Now I have heard that people do tend to have bone broth or bulletproof coffee, which is like a f high fat coffee, as like something to eat during fasting for like longer periods as well. I'm just going to stick to my plain water and herbal tea like green tea and peppermint tea and things like that and hopefully that will be quite enough and that will do me. 
but we'll see by the end uh, after five days of how this goes but yeah I'm going to go on with the rest of my day and I'll be back with you guys tonight to let you know how day one of the five day fast went all right so it's 7 p.m. now so it's sort of winding down for the evening I must say today has been like really challenging and I thought it would be too. One of the biggest things I've noticed today is that my mind automatically goes to like my meals. So like say I've done a task or say it gets to around a certain time of the day, my mind automatically wanders onto what I'm going to be making that day or for lunch or for dinner. Like as I was sitting in the car driving to some of the places I was going today, my mind was automatically thinking when I get home, what will I make? What's in the fridge what am I going to have like it's become an automatic sort of thought pattern for me to think and plan my next meals for the day so that was really strange and then I had to keep reminding myself like oh wait I'm not actually eating today I have all this extra time and also oh <laughs> I was like oh, I'm a bit bummed I really do find that food is a big enjoyment for me during the day so when I don't have it I'm like hmm what do I do now I have been super hungry though especially towards the end of the night and I've been trying to drink a lot more because sometimes your hunger can actually be a manifestation of you being thirsty. So I've been drinking lots, but I think I am actually just hungry. I find I'm, like, when my family's having dinner, I was like, oh, I just want to have something, just one little bite of something. But I was like, no, nope, stick to it. So yeah, that's been a bit challenging. And I thought it would be challenging today, honestly. I knew it was going to be easy. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm not super, super hungry tomorrow, but I'm doubtful I might be. Because <laughs> I really love food. I just want to eat. <laughs> Honestly, just got to keep reminding myself of all the benefits while I'm doing this. All those health benefits that come with fasting. While it may not be easy, it will be rewarding in the end. And I've heard that after you do the fast, when you go back to eating again, maybe it's a few days afterwards, you're supposed to feel really good, like energetic, feel really, I guess, cleansed. Just feel amazing afterwards. So really just focus on that bit, the end goal, which is just to stick this out and get all those health benefits from this fast. So yeah, that's pretty much my update for tonight. I'm really hungry. I've drunk so much water. Hopefully tomorrow is a good day and I don't notice too much. I'll try and keep myself busy to distract myself from wanting to eat. Hi guys, so it's day two and honestly I feel like death. Oh, waking up this morning I was so exhausted naturally because I'm not eating. Um, I just felt so sick, like nauseous sick and I've just been drinking lots of fluids, so having lots of tea, water. I have been having broth just to help boost some minerals in my body just because I felt so sick. Like this morning, oh, I woke up and I was like, honestly, I could probably just sleep all day and that'd be, that'd be it. It's not necessarily the hunger feeling. Like I don't feel hungry. I just feel really sick, like nauseous sick. So I've been trying to drink a lot of water and just helping kind of stop that nauseous feeling. Like I have a really, really light head as well. So it's not going so strong today. <laughs> Even just sitting here talking to you guys, I feel a lot better. I think just being up and about, like I was lying on the couch like <laughs> before like, oh my gosh, I can't even get up. But I feel like as the day goes on, I'm getting a little bit, feeling a little bit better. But if you guys do try out fasting, it was recommended to me that maybe don't go into a five day fast first off. That's probably the thing I've really learned by this. Maybe start off by doing like a 24 hour fast or maybe a 36 hour fast and not go straight into five days. I'm kind of regretting it now. But yeah, do try working up to it from there rather than just doing the cold turkey straight into five days. Unless you've been specified otherwise. But yeah, that's pretty much day two. So it's day three. I have a few updates to share with you guys. So this morning I woke up feeling a little bit unwell and I read up as to why that was because I felt a little bit unwell yesterday morning and I thought maybe it's just because I'm getting dehydrated over the night so when I wake up I feel a bit sick but they said if you feel nauseous or anything it can be because of low blood sugar levels or because of like low electrolytes in your body so I've started adding salt to my water so that when I drink that I get a hit of electrolytes that way and I've had more of my broth so I think I'm not drinking enough broth throughout the day so I've been upping that a little bit so if you guys do feel nauseous that could be one of the reasons also do be careful make sure if you fast monitor your body over the course of the five days or three days or however long even during intermittent fasting because if you are feeling nauseous it might be a good idea to stop it there and just slowly build up your body to the length of time that you want to fast for rather than just going all in for the 16 hours or all in for the five days like I've done so if you do feel nauseous it can be a good idea to stop it because it means that your body is not exactly adjusting too well to switch you over to fat burning rather than sugar burning as energy so that can be one of the reasons why. But if you are finding that it is an electrolyte problem, putting salt in your water, just a pinch of salt, or even just having more broth 
or electrolytes throughout the day through other ways that's really really helpful in helping to boost that up and you may find you don't feel so unwell or sick anymore I found that anyway so I think my problem was due to a lack of electrolytes I just wasn't having enough broth or just not getting enough electrolytes so I just put a pinch of salt in my water and I found that really really helped me so I don't actually feel sick anymore I'm just like, yes! So having broth and just drinking plenty of fluids, plenty of water has been really beneficial in helping with that. I'm going to make sure that I drink a lot of water with a pinch of salt in it just before I go to bed so I don't have that when I wake up tomorrow morning. But if I do, I'll just make sure I'll just drink another glass of salty water again in the morning. But if you're feeling sick because of low blood sugar, you might need to be monitoring that throughout the course of your fasting because that can get really serious. It can actually get fits from having low blood sugar and you can have real bad cons health consequences if you don't monitor that and make sure that stays relatively stable. So for me I think my body took a while to adjust to the fat burning side because I have never done this amount of time of fasting before. The longest I've really done has been intermittent fasting so my body's sort of kind of catching up to that. So I think I did have a little bit of low blood sugar at one point but it wasn't too serious. But yeah, just man monitor your body throughout the course of fasting. So if you do feel like it's getting to a point where you just feel really unwell and it's not getting better, it's probably a good idea just to stop it there and just come back to it at another date and just slowly increase it rather than go all in at the one time. See that was my morning. I feel so much better today actually compared to yesterday. The biggest thing I've noticed is I'm not so hungry all day. It's been such a blessing because honestly I was on Struggle Street yesterday with that. So that's been something I've been struggling with is the cravings for carby foods. Especially things that are like salty, so chips, sweet potato fries, basically anything unhealthy I think just because it's so salty. But I'm finally over the hump. We're finally over the three days. So now it's just the last two. Almost there. We can see the finish line from here. I'm getting really excited. But we're on to day four tomorrow. Oh, second last day. Oh, I'm so excited. Hopefully it's even better than today because I am feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday. So fingers crossed it keeps going like that. Good morning guys. We're finally on the second last day. <gasps> I'm just so keen to eat again. So one of them is that I don't feel unwell getting up in the morning now. I really think what I did to boost my electrolytes has really helped overall because I don't feel like nauseous getting up in the morning. So this has been the first morning that I actually feel like great and I feel like I could go out and exercise because I haven't been exercising all week just because I felt really low in energy. They said that can be a side effect of the ketosis flu like switching over from burning sugar to fat you get like a keto flu where you just feel tired while your body's transitioning and I had a bit of that I was just feeling quite tired so I hadn't been exercising all week. So that has been a big improvement, waking up and feeling good, which is just such a great change. They did say day four is the one you tend to feel best on, and I actually must say I feel pretty normal, like I would, was before fasting. This is the first day I've actually felt really good out of all the days. Today has been my best day so far. I haven't even felt hungry waking up in the morning. Sometimes I get a few hunger pangs, usually in the morning or the evening time. But I haven't had that this morning, which has been awesome. One thing I've noticed as well, especially at the start of my fast, was that I would get quite irritable. So I tend to be more short-tempered because I was hangry all the time. So if you guys experience that too, you're not alone. <laughs> I was also quite irritable, especially at the start. I think today's probably my best day where I haven't felt hangry at all. I felt a little bit hangry the other few days, just on and off. But today's been my best one so far. Tomorrow marks day five. So I'll see you guys then for our final day. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> so we're on to day five and the results are in. I am so excited to share this with you guys. When I saw the results, I was literally like this. I was like, woo! <laughs> I was so happy, like honestly, with the results of today. And to just have stuck through it all and made it to the five days was just an achievement in itself by the end. The fourth day was definitely the best day because I actually felt the least hungry. But the hunger keeps coming back for me in the evenings. So it was such a struggle trying to make it through to like bedtime without like ha like going through such intense hunger. That was the only thing I found was that the evenings were my ch most challenging. But overall I felt the best on day four and day five today as well. <laughs> I found they were just my top two days and they usually say that tends to happen. Once you get past the second and third day, Day four and five are a lot easier. But let's get to the results because that's what we're all here for. So my starting weight was 65.1 kilos, like I said earlier. And now it's 61.6. So I lost about three point... 
One, two, three, four. So I lost about 3.5 kilos. <gasps> so excited. But I know some of that will come back. Like about half of it anyway. Because a lot of it's water weight. And then once you start eating again, you naturally just start to gain weight again. But it's still such a great result. So I'm really happy about it. I lost some fat as well. Which I'm just like, yes. I was 30.8 to start with. And now I'm 30.4. So I lost 0.4%. I'm thrilled with that. I know it's not a huge margin and some people can lose more, but for me, I was so happy. I am committed to doing fasts every month, but because five days was just such a challenge for me, I think I'll just do three day fasts until I can kind of get used to that and then kind of work up from there, do a four day and then a five day fast and sort of do it that way. Because five days, honestly guys, it was real challenging. I was like, Phew. Now, I didn't mention this before, but my muscle mass was 42.8 kilos and it did drop to 40.7, which I did know that was going to happen. So I lost about two kilos in muscle, which is quite a lot. I understand that. So, but that will come back again once I start eating and going back to the gym normally and doing weight sessions and things. And just a side note, my metabolic age, you know, my past keto video where I shared it was like 30. It started off as 30 for this and it's dropped down to 27. So I'm in the 20s. Today's huge, ginormous, massive shout out goes to Divergent Packy. Thank you so much for commenting on my vegan, vegetarian, keto diet experience video. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. If you do try out the keto diet, do let me know how it goes for you. I so agree. Having a keto cookbook to follow is so much easier than trying to create recipes on your own. Thank you to everyone for watching and subscribing, liking, sharing, and even just sharing your love on my videos. It means so, so much to me to receive so much encouragement encouragement, support and love from you guys. It means the absolute world to me and I'm just so so grateful so thank you so much. If you guys have done fasting before, what was your experience like? I'd love to know. Otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope, fingers crossed, to see you guys in future videos of mine. Bye!